In this section we're going to talk about fuel pressure. Uh, fuel pressure is crucial to every diesel, but it's especially crucial in the 6 liters. One of the things that's hard for folks to understand in terms of fuel pressure is there is a static fuel pressure and there is a dynamic fuel pressure. Uh, fuel pressure sitting still, you know, with the key on and the fuel, uh, fuel pump running and whatnot, that's one thing. That's all fine and well. But what you have to see is what the fuel pressure looks like as you're running down the road. Uh, uh, the fuel pump will feed a certain amount of fuel, but then it will run out and that causes certain problems. Now, in drag racing, which is the way I grew up, uh, you, you had fuel pressure on board. In other words, you had it in front of you as you were going down the track. You wanted to run the car absolutely as lean as you possibly could uh, because the car would go fast, but if you went too lean, you'd smoke the motor. So at the far end of the track, when you start passing 1,300 feet and you got that last 80, 90, 100 feet and your fuel pressure starts to drop off, you better lift your foot off the pedal or else you're going to be picking up a bunch of metal scattered on the, on the, uh, on the drag strip. Uh, the truck that we're going to work with here is a 2004 King Ranch. Got his fancy 22.5s on here. A uh, real good friend of mine, uh, we bulletproofed this truck several years ago. It's got 298,000 miles on it. Uh, had a real peculiar problem with it. He would get a skip in it. We, uh, he had his mechanic down there where he lives in, in, in South Georgia uh, change out the injectors. He said, well, it's time. It's a lot of miles on it. We'll change injectors out. Well, every 100 miles, the, the truck was killing injectors. And you can see right here how the seal gets pulled up okay it, it was blowing the seals on them uh, and then it would and then the injector would go to skipping and, and all this sort of thing so uh, and as you can see all of them are affected I mean the seals on these injectors are just coming apart and so you know he dropped the tank he drained the tank he figured it was contaminated fuel he even went so far as to put a brand new Ford fuel pump on it you know 300 some odd dollars for a brand new Ford fuel pump as you can see when we turn the key on that there's plenty of static fuel pressure okay plenty right like it should be so that was all fine and well but you know we kept killing injectors and he kept having this problem so finally the truck ended up here at my shop and uh, uh, he's like Bill I, I don't know what to do I can't continue to pour money to it for no reason and and uh, you know can you help me so we decided to test fuel pressure in a dynamic way this allows us to read fuel pressure as we're going down the road so what we did was uh, we took a a fuel line that uh, came off of a junk engine, we cut the fitting end off, which uh, is the fitting that actually goes into the cylinder head. It's, it's, actually, it's actually like the end of this fuel line. You see the fuel line there where it goes in the cylinder head. And it's the same thread in the test port on your upper fuel bowl. This is where the small filter goes right here next to the dipstick and your fuel pressure regulator and all that's right here. Well, when we made this, we took a, a quarter inch compression fitting and con with, a, with a conversion that makes it into eighth inch NPT and then we could plumb in our fuel pressure gauge. What this allows me to do is I set the fuel pressure gauge out here right on the windshield wiper. Don't turn your windshield wipers on when you're doing this or you're going to run into some problems. But allows me to drive the trunk and look at fuel pressure. Now you don't want to bring one of these gauges into the truck. I mean if the line turns loose you're going to get you know, 10 gallons of diesel fuel in your lap real quick, but you can see your fuel pressure. It's right in front of you as you go down the road. Okay, so now what we do with a truck to find dynamic fuel pressure is to go drive it. And uh, we put it right here on the gauge here, and you can see the gauge as we go down the road. And this is what a healthy fuel pump looks like. When you really jump on it, it shouldn't below go below 45. Well, what was happening with the old fuel pump, which was a brand new factory Ford pump, it was going to zero. Okay, and because it was going to zero, it went to zero very, very quickly, these injectors actually can draw fuel. They'll actually suck fuel and uh, uh, without a fuel pump. I mean, you can prove it by un unplugging your fuel pump once you have your engine running. It'll run like trash, but it will run. So what was happening is, is because of this suction that was created by the injectors having a demand for fuel and not having it supplied to them, is it literally sucked the O-rings off of the injector. And it was causing an injector failure because the fuel is a, is a coolant. It actually cools and lubricates the injector. So without fuel, it's just going to burn the injector up almost immediately, especially because they tow a big race car trailer with this truck and it got hot and that was that. They weren't getting 100, 150 miles and they were having to stop and, and put more injectors in it. So what we discovered was, was the factory Ford fuel pump that they had put in there and paid 300 some odd dollars for was faulty. It was no good. 
Which leads me back to one of the original trains of thought in regard to the 6 liter, really with any vehicle, but with a 6 liter especially, do not assume anything. Assume nothing. Put a part on, double check it, make sure that it actually fixed the problem that you had. It's real easy just to clear the codes and go down around, oh, it's fixed now, we got a new set of injectors, it's good. Well, no, not exactly. And in this situation, uh, you know, Ford, of course, replaced the fuel pump, but and they, and they ate a bunch of money on injectors uh, because the injectors were warrantied because he bought them brand new from Ford, but still, I mean, these guys went through 20 injectors until they brought it to me, and I figured this out for them. So if you see a problem like that, if you pull an injector out of your truck, you have a skip or something like that, you know, take a look at your dynamic fuel pressure. Plumb in your, plumb in your fuel gauge so that you can check fuel pressure as you go down the road. As the engine demands the fuel, make sure that it's actually getting it.